Where do we stand? We didn't get an apology uh, from the Chinese side for this controversial tweet. Uh, what has the response been then from Beijing? Uh, the response so far has been to double down. Uh, the Chinese foreign ministry yesterday, uh, when asked about this, sort of went into a ten tangential commentary about how uh, the relationship is deteriorated with Australia 100 percent because of Australia's fault. And so it's, it seems to be doubling down on its position. Yeah, and what about this view then uh, and the commentary or at least the analysis that, that our team got in terms of how this strategy could, could ultimately backfire uh, for Beijing. Uh, what are the concerns about how this may play out then? Well, you have a lot of countries, Australia, Canada, uh, the UK, uh, New Zealand, who, are, who have been sort of in the last decade or more operating under a, a sort of a dual model where they depend on the U.S. for security, uh, for their national security. But then they've latched their economies onto growth in China and, and through that supercharged you know, growth for themselves. And now with tensions between the U.S. and China, uh, more intense than they've ever been, that, that model is increasingly proving like it's not workable. Mm. Uh, do we have a clearer sense of how likely it is that the Biden administration may indeed be able to form something of a coalition to pressure China on some of these areas? We had reporting out of the Financial Times yesterday about some of the EU's plans. Is, is that starting to build out now, that picture? There, there definitely seem to be signs that that could be taking shape. So even just with a reaction to this tweet, you had uh, the government in New Zealand expressing its concern to the Chinese about that tweet as well. You had lawmakers in the U.K. Uh, in Parliament expressing their support and condemning uh, condemning the, the tweet by the Chinese foreign ministry official. Uh, you've also had calls in the U.K. to sort of more, work more closely with Australia as Australia deals with this spat with Beijing. And so you can definitely see the beginnings of an alliance starting to form.